it's Christy and I'm here with a really fun boy two to four shoe box. I called it super construction on my little piece of paper here. If you want some paper to help you keep organized, then I suggest that you look on the printables page on blessingsintheshoebox.com because it has all kinds of checklists on there for every age group, boy and girl. It really helps me stay organized. So let's take this big 107 rubber band off my shoe box and see what's inside. This is what it looks like. If you are familiar with the current children's toys and shows, then you might recognize who this is. And if you do, let me know in the comments below because I'm just not sure of his name, but he is sure a cute dog so soft and I know he's related to Paw Patrol. That's all I know about him, but he really is, you see his orange and his green, that gave me the ideas for this, for this box. So I'm gonna put him right here. And this is his other special really wow toy, this yellow wooden construction vehicle with the little guy. He doesn't come out, he just sits in there and it's just a really nice well-made toy to include for the construction theme. So here's his rattle that Michelle made. It has five little jingle bells in there. I love the fleece and she cut it in a star fabric for these toddler boys. Thank you, Michelle. And then here is an item that can go in any age group. Um, these foldable frisbees are fun. They can be used as a fan. I just love including them because no matter how full your box is, it seems you can always fit a foldable Frisbee when you think you're, you can't fit anymore. So that's here. And then right here, our next layer you'll see is this beautiful plush blanket that has all the construction trucks on it. And on the other side, it's a light blue. It just matches really well with this cute dog and it'll be nice, something nice to cuddle with for the boy who receives this box. Then we have his playground ball. On all of these two to four children boxes, I love including these playground balls, and I include a pump with some extra needles so they can pump that up when they get home from the event. I have this mustache whist whistle that's fun and a little bendy guy. Those were both in this cup. And the cup, I try to always put a pair of socks. And the socks have, oh, they're from the factory outlet that I go to. They have these cool little um, construction uh, picture of a, it looks like a bulldozer on there. And it's just, um, I was just blown away that I could find those to put these with the, my construction boxes. And then also his little underwear with all the construction vehicles on there. So it's maybe a lot more fun for me to pack like that than it is for him to receive it. He might not even notice, but hopefully he'll just um, love everything and not even think about the idea that it's a theme. Um, here's his uh, pencil sharpener. It's a dual pencil sharpener and another um, wooden car. I love that it's the orange that matches the dog. So cute and sturdy and long lasting. I like that about everything I send in a shoebox. I try to make it long lasting. A spoon from Ikea and a covered uh, toothbrush for him. He has a little poppet fidget toy, multicolors. I took the um, chain off so we don't have to worry about a choking hazard. He has a full set of 16 crayons. And here is a fun toy that Michelle and I are including in our boxes this year. And this is a pair of polka dot sunglasses in blue. I think it's going to be really fun for um, the boys and girls to receive sunglasses. And this is the shirt. I probably started with the shirt before anything. I just love that shirt from Children's Place. It's nice and soft and that bright Blue and yellow is really eye-catching. Now here I have a special homemade toddler tote that Michelle made. If you've seen any of my videos, she's so good 
at making things. And this one has an outside pocket with a snap and it's perfect because it has dogs. So thank you, Michelle, for making that. And then speaking of dogs, I have a dog puzzle for this little guy. I was really excited to see find that in the set. So got that dog puzzle. We've got a lot of toys in here. Franklin Grahams always says, send more toys. So I'm trying to do that. Inside of his pencil pouch, even though he might be two years old, he can save this for when he goes to school or he can pass it on to a sibling. It'll be used, I'm sure. He has a green click pen, green scissors, and his half composition book to practice his writing. He's got all of these pre-sharpened pencils. And don't worry, we don't, in uh, our country, I don't think in the world, use lead anymore for writing with. We use graphite, so these sharpened pencils are not going to poison anyone. They're going to be nice and safe in your shoe boxes, useful for the child who receives them. And then the two big orange and blue erasers. That's his pencil pouch, and he has a green comb, and another wonderful blankie. I love this one because he can drive his, it's like a road on both sides. He can drive his vehicles on there as well as cuddle with it. I just love those. Thank you for making them for me, Michelle. The surged edges. It's just a really nice flannel. And then his God Loves You coloring book with all the nice images inside. So cute. And on the back, it says God Loves You in all those different languages. And he has a bandana, blue bandana, his washcloth. And the last thing in the box, the wooden ruler. So that brings us to the end of this shoe box. Let me know in the comments below. What was your favorite thing in the box? What is this cute dog's name? And let me know how many toys you think that we unpacked today for this guy. I think it was a nice full box. Thank you for watching. God bless you and bye for now.